We're living in some very interesting times politically. An era of fake news used as a political tactic to undermine the credibility and destroy the character of sitting lawmakers. Having recently been a target of this myself, I know about it all too well. It's disguised as a legitimate news site, but it's far from it. But one thing I've learned in life is that if you don't have naysayers or critics, you're not putting yourself out there enough. You're not pushing the envelope for what you can achieve. It takes a great deal of personal and professional sacrifice to take on the political machine, the establishment, the ingrained special interests, the multinational corporations, and the high-paid slick lobbyists because those in power want to hold on to that power at all costs. They don't want to be held accountable. I don't play the game, which means I have the freedom to vote how I want based on the best interest of my constituents in my district, not those that write the largest check. Currently, we have a government that is comprised of a web of dark money and unspoken pay for play between corporations, lobbyists, and the good old boys. They despise the fact that every session, every year, I introduce legislation to fix the system, comprehensive campaign finance reform, things to strengthen ethics and governmental accountability. In fact, to try to make Maine have the strongest ethics in the entire country. We spend too much time in Augusta debating each manufacturer crisis that comes along based on which special interest group or corporation wants next. We have leadership in both chambers, in the House and the Senate, that have meetings that orbit around who's the highest level donor. And senators spend so much time politically fundraising, there's even a phrase for it. It's called call time, where almost on a weekly basis, senators are making calls to high level donors, meanwhile, honest to good legislating gets sidelined. We don't have to accept this as just the way it is. We can fundamentally change how Augusta operates. I'm announcing today I'm running for re-election to the Maine State Senate. Our politics and democratic institutions are under assault by big money, special interests, and complacent politicians. Now more than ever before, we must elect individuals that are vocal leaders that will stand up and fight for the will of the voters and represent the very highest ideals of public service. My fight to create a more transparent, accountable, and ethical government isn't over. In fact, it's just beginning. We're gonna be tested in so many different ways, but ultimately I know we're on the right path. We cannot give in, not now, not when it's so critically important that we have a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. That is what is at stake. That is why I am running for re-election. I hope you're with me.